Hey guys, so what I'm working on today is our 1948 uh, Chevy project. Um, putting in an IFS front suspension uh, and motor mounts for a TBI 350 motor swap that we're doing. Um, so today I'm uh, boxing in the frame rails in preparation for welding in the IFS cross member for the front suspension that will support all of the components of the front suspension, the A-arms, uh, the upper top hats they call them, which is your upper coil mount and shock mount. Um, so in order to get that welded in, we have to have solid structure to weld it to, so we're uh, boxing in the insides of the frame rail. Uh, the frame rails on this 48 are uh, approximately 3 16 inch thick, so I bought some 3 16 inch plate, and uh, I'm going to be cutting that out with uh, you know old school hand tools. Uh, I currently don't have a, a plasma cutter, so I'm doing it the hard way. So uh, I'm going to be cutting out the plate with an uh, angle grinder, and some four and a half inch cutoff wheels. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning it up with some flap discs and punching some holes in it. You know, I want to dress it up, make it look a little more interesting under the hood. So I've got uh, a De couple DeWalt three and a half inch bimetal hole saws, which really work great. Um, got eight holes to cut in each plate or in uh, the two plates between the two plates. Um, using Silver Streak pencils to mark everything out. Uh, these pencils are awesome. They'll mark a steel plate um, through grease and grime and uh, cutting oil and uh, uh, they just work awesome. Um, so that's that's the variety of tools I'll be using. I'll be using as always my DeWalt angle grinders um, for cutting that and then mounting uh, the plate up in the drill press and punching the holes with the hole saw uh, on the drill press. Got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to get started on it.
Okay guys, so here's where we're at. I've got the plates cut out um, and I'm cleaning up the frame so I can get those welded into the frame today. Um, I've got uh, I've got to cut the inside section of the frame rail to uh, true that up so it's square with the outside uh, lip of the frame rail and make it two and a quarter inch width top and bottom. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that, trimming that up. Uh, I've also got to trim some material off the old transmission cross member that's still in the frame um, to make room for these plates. So here's the plate as it sits now. I'll show you that and uh, what it's going to look like once I get these things welded in. I think they're going to look great. Um, it's going to provide the strength that we need for the independent front suspension cross member to mount to uh, and motor mounts to mount to. So it's going to really stiffen up the front of this frame and uh, uh, strengthen it and make it uh, make it carry that load. So here's the plate. You saw me uh, fab these up with the uh, angle grinder and a hole saw. Uh, not the most advanced method, but uh, ultimately it does the job. And on this side, I've already got the second plate in here. So the existing frame rail had this uh, had this partial C, uh, and I thought we would just turn that into a hole. So uh, once it's welded in there, it'll look like it was always that way. And ultimately what you get is a really nice looking inner frame. So that's where we're at. I've got a lot of uh, trimming and grinding and cleanup to do in here uh, before I can start welding. So I'm going to get working on that now. Alright guys, so I'm going to wrap it up today. Um, Got a lot of work done today. Unfortunately, my battery went dead uh, probably while on the drill press video. Uh, so I didn't get a whole lot of the uh, frame prep. I had to straighten out the frame quite a bit. Had a lot of dips and, and high spots in it. Uh, so I straightened out uh, the top sections of frame rail and bottom sections of frame rail um, and tacked in. Um, I then ground down and fitted uh, the side, the reinforcement plates that are going to box in the inside of the frame and got them all tacked in. So I got both frame plates tacked in position, good to go. Um, the only thing I have to do is knock off those rear spring hangers. I left them on uh, until I get the IFS cross member in place just so I could double check that I have that thing right on center because you want to weld that right on the center of your uh, leaf spring length. So I went ahead and left those rear hangers in place so I could use that as a reference if I need to. Um, I've got the frame marked and I've made some notes so I know where it needs to go, but just in case, uh, I left them in place. And in order for me to finish uh, welding these inside reinforcement plates boxing in the frame, I've got to take those hangers off. So uh, I'm waiting to do that until I get the IFS cross member tacked in place. Once that's located in place, tacked, everything's measured and double checked both ways, diagonally and vertically and horizontally and level uh, amongst the frame. Then I can knock those off of there and finish welding those plates in. So uh, for now it's just tacked. Let me show you what I've got. So from here you can kind of see uh, the insides of the plates and how they're tacked in to the frame rail. Everything looks really good. Uh, it's probably something that not everybody's going to notice, but uh, 
The ones that do will appreciate the extra effort. So that's pretty much where I'm leaving off for tonight. Uh, it was a lot of work getting those plates made up and the holes punched in them and um, just getting them fitted to the frame rails. I, I didn't expect that the frame rails were going to be so wavy. So I had, a, you know, I, I used a crescent wrench and straightened them out, um, which is the only appropriate use ever for a crescent wrench, by the way, is bending things, bending metal. Don't ever use it on nuts and bolts. So uh, got those straightened out. Plates are tacked in place. I'm ready to move on to fitting the IFS cross member and the top hats that hold the top of the coil. Um, so that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to be starting on that tomorrow morning. Uh, get everything hung in place and trued up, tacked on, uh, double check my measurements and then I can knock those hangers off and fully weld everything. Um, once I get that welded, I got my motor mounts so I can get the motor mounts uh, fitted and uh, tacked into the cross member making a lot of good progress here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today guys uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, of the work that was done today um, it's a little bit less than what I wanted to get done today but I was kind of set back a day this weekend so uh, I think we're still moving along at a good pace and if I can get this thing get the motor hung in here and mounted by the end of the week um, then it'll be wiring time so uh, I'm, I'm eager to get the, the hard work done and move on to the easy part of this, which is wiring everything up. So uh, stay tuned. If you like what you see, please click uh, subscribe and like. And if you have any comments about the way I've done things or, you know, some suggestions, please feel free to leave me comments and I will reply back. Um, thanks a lot, guys.